Phillies race against the boys all over the world. But in Hong Kong, there's a bit of a conception that they don't work here, which I actually don't agree with. If you get a filly that's delicate, they don't eat well, and they're not suited to Hong Kong. But if you get a filly that looks like a man, eats like a man, I think there's no disadvantage. Elegant fashion, she was a big filly. It was incredible because she only arrived in Hong Kong in December, and she won the derby. Elegant fashion goes to the lead. It's historical. The filly runs away. Mossay wins with the filly. Elegant fashion by nearly a length. At Bonzapella, I was watching the races in Australia and I couldn't help but notice her in the Guineas, which is one of the best three-year-old in Australia. Bonza Perla is flashing down the outside with Hitotsu. It's lightsaber just in front. The filly Bonza Pearl is coming at Hitotsu. And she had a poor run and nearly won it. And I just thought, oh, you could be ideal in Hong Kong. The early signs are very promising. Everyone that rides her likes her. And so important, she eats all the food. This dog's 他一直都適應了,所以吃了很好,他自然就會長肉,個朋友會寵我了 Dragon Lady, she's a beautiful blonde. Not many Japanese come here as PPGs and no fillers. She's a little girl, a little bit of a 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 bit She does eat well. And she's good size, and she's just got to cope with the Hong Kong conditions. But I'll be watching out for her over the next two months because her work's going to start to increase.